hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is jennifer and if this is your first time of coming across my channel i say welcome i'm an immigrant living in sweden i'm also a mother a nurse so i talk about everything migrating to different parts of europe and life in sweden in general and how to cope the swedish society so if this sounds like something that you've been interested in don't forget to give this uh, uh, this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about new zealand okay guys so i know that new zealand has released like a lot of visas like in the past few months there are a lot of videos here on youtube talking about these different uh, visas and how to get them but in this video i'm going to be telling you about the shortage occupation list the different companies that are hiring right now in new zealand and i'm also going to be giving you a link to these different companies or their names so you can just google them send them an email and before you know it you'll be in new zealand for 2023 or by the end of this year so it's just for you to take that leap of faith email them and then write to them and you never know so this video we're going to be covering like the different occupation on the shortage list so they have different kind of occupations and then also we're going to be talking about like how to go about the whole application process and then cv style new zealand new zealand kind of cv because guys your cv is what sells you first so if your cv is not like what they are looking for no employer want to spend five ten minutes going through your cv when they have like almost 100 people searching for this job so like you need to be prepared for your cv and it has to be like new zealand style for you to have like you know an edge or like for you to, for, for it to give you that push that you need to get this job so right now new zealand is suffering shortage of staff and skilled workers they don't have and they are looking for skilled workers from overseas because they don't have enough in their country and some of the occupation that falls under this sh shortage of occupation are um, anything engineering or engineering fields so if you're an engineer it doesn't matter if you're a me mechanical engineer or you know anything engineering civil engineering anything engineering they are looking for you it personnel they are also looking for you so anybody in the healthcare system either as a healthcare assistant a nurse a doctor occupational therapist anything in the health sector and social sector social workers social care sectors they are looking for them they are needed in new zealand and then these are just occupations where you know you have to a de degree holders occupation degree holders skilled workers now for people that are just like you know secondary school and all of that if you are construction worker an electrician or plumber they are also looking for them they really need them truck drivers they are needed and even chefs so all these other all these occupation they fall under the shortage occupation list you can also go to like the embassy website or the immigration website to see like the full list of the people that are on this shortage occupation list but we have a lot of companies that are willing to hire right now so we're going to be going through these companies and i'm going to be also telling you what they are looking for eligibility criteria, and then how to go about applying these companies have been given like um, authorization to sponsor candidates from the overseas not just any company can sponsor you over to new zealand there are specific things you have to go through as a company to be able to sponsor overseas personnel and these companies have gone through those um have gone through those processes and they can sponsor individuals to come to new so guys number one on the list is the auckland district health board now this is just like um like the name implies is for healthcare personnel so they are looking for people from healthcare assistants nurses midwives occupational therapists even cleaners they are looking for a lot of people so if you fall under this category it's just for you to apply just apply go over to their website i'm also going to be leaving their name in the description box just google them send them an email um, you can call them and tell them you're interested you're looking for a job and then they will put you through so these people are currently hiring staffs 
and they are giving sponsorship so then the the next company we're going to be talking about is the asab bank these people are looking for bankers personal bankers um from bankers to like it specialists they are looking for it you can also go to their website you see like the oh, the openings that they have right now and it's just for you to apply because they can sponsor you from wherever you are in the world i'm also going to be looking at if you see me looking down i'm just looking at my phone and then the next one we also have is the anz bank new zealand is also a bank they are looking for people they are looking for qualified people to come to the to come to new zealand and then we have arvida limited for like it's a care home um, or their care home um, company so they have different branches if you're looking for care assistant as a healthcare assistant job this one is for you also as nurses if you want to work in a care home this is also for you it's just for you to apply they have tens and tons of openings so guys it's just for you to apply they don't have people to apply for this position so there's no harm in trying you apply you send them an email you just drop an email or you can still call let us still call, introduce yourself and you know, tell them what you can do, how you've improved yourself. Even though you're a healthcare assistant, the courses you've done, if you've volunteered before. And you know, sell yourself and before you know it, you might just get employed. You never know. So guys, it's a company called Afco Holdings Limited. Now these people, what they do is just livestock, livestock processing. People, they are looking for butchers, um, livestock rarers. So if you know anything about farming, livestock and all of that, apply to this company. And then we have another one on the list, another company that is currently hiring with sponsorship and their name is the ACC. Now what this company does, what this company does is just like a recruitment company. And what they do is just like to hire people from different, like different uh, walks of life. So from personal assistant to engineers, to IT consultants. So it's just for you to go onto their website. You will see the jobs they are looking for and the people they are looking for. Apply to these jobs and these jobs, you apply to them. If you if you get the job, you get sponsored. So then the next people on this list is, is the All School New Zealand. Like these people, they are recruiting both drivers. Um, they are recruiting like a lot of people. It's more like a recruitment company. So just head over to their website. I'm also going to be leaving the list of the remaining companies. What you have to do or what you can do is to go into these companies, go to their website, see what they do, the jobs they are hiring. They have a lot of jobs. They have so many people they are hiring. It's not just for certificate or like degree holders, both certificate holders and just normal skill job, they are looking for them and you might get lucky, you might find something that you really like and the relocation package is amazing. So it's just for you to apply for it, you get the relocation package and then you can move. What the so guys, and then this brings us to the last part of this video, which is the CV you're going to use to email these people or send in for this jobs application. And that guys, New Zealand, they have their own way of CV. And for you to catch your employer, it doesn't even matter where you're apl applying to, your CV has to be catchy. Your CV has to be the thing that will catch their, um, you know, their attention. Most times, the mistake that most people do, I have also made that mistake. I remember when I was applying for jobs in the UK, I did not work on my CV. I just submitted, and I know I applied to over... 10 homes and nobody got back to me. So CV is very, very important. I knew you guys like some tips of how you can make your CV stand out and make it look good. So guys, first of all, the employers are mostly interested in your technical and personal skills. Like what are you, what, what kind of personality do you have and what technical skills can you bring to the table? How have you used these skills? How did you develop these skills? And they need you to be short and precise, like go straight to the point. No need to put beat around the bush. This is a time for you to sell yourself when it comes to like your uh, personal skills, like I am this person, this is what I've done and this is what I can do. Bam, bam, bam. Let it just be like the first three lines, like you're spitting out fire and you're giving them like, according depending on the kind of field you are, even though you're just a healthcare assistant 
or a healthcare assistant with no so guys even though you're just a healthcare assistant like what can you bring to the table have you taken up courses have you volunteered sometime in a hospital like what have you done like those are the things you need to you like spell out and like personal what can you do when it comes to personal care personal hygiene what do you know bring in those terms that they're looking for for me what i did that helped me was that I went to Google and I looked for specific terms like in that country that had to do like with nursing and then I was putting those things out on my CV and guys I got callbacks like a lot of callbacks so that is like tips um when you want to do your CV just go through those kind of things and, and then guys the next thing they're looking for is just that they want to see how you've applied these skills if you've mentioned these skills, the things you know, the things you've gotten, who you are, how you can also improve and what you can do for this company, they want to see, have you ever applied these skills? If you say, I'm a very, very uh, communicative person and, you know, I'm a good communicator, how have you applied these skills? So those are the kind of things they want to see. And guys, I think the most important tip is just to keep it short and precise. Nobody wants to read a CV that is like three pages or like the first page you have a lot of words going on. No, just keep it short. Pick the most important thing, short and precise. That's how you sell yourself and that's how you get the job. So if you go on Google, you see like different type of examples for New Zealand. Just Google them, go through them and then from that way and these little tips I've given to you, just add it and build your CV. Apply for these jobs now. Do it now. Don't procrastinate. Don't say two days from now, three days from now, or one week from now. Do your CV and send them in. You never know. I'm going to be leaving a list of, we have over 20 companies right now, hiring people with sponsorship. So, Google them, email them, just send in your application, and you never know. So, guys, that's it for this video, and I hope and I wish you guys good luck for those people that have watched this video and want to relocate or want to relocate to New Zealand. I'm wishing you guys good luck with your search and I hope that you've been able to get one or two from this video and I hope that the links and the name of these companies that I'm going to be leaving in the description box like give you something or the thing you're looking for. Good luck guys. Thank you for sticking with me. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe guys. Please subscribe. Um, thank you guys. Bye.